Boys and girls, we've captured Beijing. Nice. Hi everyone, and welcome to today's video where we're gonna be continuing the A to Z challenge as Arkan. If you enjoy this video, don't hesitate to leave a like, it really helps out the channel a lot. And if you really like it, you can subscribe. I'm trying to hit 40k subs, so it really means a lot. And you can become a member today. So we're back at it with the A to Z challenge, two per week by the way, yes, yes, I know, thank you. And next up is Arkan. We're still in A, someone help me, please. But where is Arkan? What is Arkan? I initially thought it was a nation uh, somewhere over here, but turns out it's not. It's actually right here. Arkan trapped between Bengal, Pegu, Ava, all stronger nations. And uh, yeah, let's check out our ideas here. Lightship cost, promoted culture, combat ability. Not bad, not bad. Legitimacy, and eh, merchant privateer efficiency okay so some naval focused ones as far as i can see so what do we actually do with this tiny tiny nation right here this is a very difficult start very difficult indeed and i think the only thing we can try and do is or can well pretty much survive so let's jump in all right all right so here we are and i did come up with a little something while the game was loading let's say we're gonna get silver if we manage to survive until 1500 we're gonna get gold if we manage to conquer the burma region and survive and we're gonna get platinum Platinum if we manage to conquer the Bengal and Burma regions and survive. Okay, so does Bengal... Oh my god, please don't eat me. Okay, they don't actually want my land, but Pegu does. All right, all right, let's rival some people, huh? Let's not be that scared. Prome, sure, Pegu, sure, Ava, sure. So these three nations right here, let's take some decisions. Monastic education, don't mind if I do. Are we making any money? We actually are. That is amazing. Can we actually get any allies oh my god we can we can get ally wow this isn't as hard as i thought so let's ally senwi right here nice nice there we go maybe we could oh wait i can royal mary bengal well that should prevent them from attacking me nice and i could royal mary ayutthaya wow i guess this isn't the most difficult starting nation in asia let's do some estate stuff you know what it is all right all right estate stuff done so obviously the first nation we're gonna be fighting well if we can even do that is probably gonna be pegu so yeah i'm gonna spy on them try and get bengal not to hate me because i'm scared of them and then we'll see where we're at can i get any achievements as orkin hmm let me see let let me see the land of eastern jade oh i'm not colonizing so i guess not dude why are there so many level three forts around me look at this 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 jesus now i am improving with bengal and ayutthaya oh i can actually ally ayutthaya the thing is i have literally nowhere to expand pegu they're also allied to ayutthaya Bengal, they're allied to Delhi. Dude, what am I gonna do? Prome, they're a tributary of Ava. Level 3 fort, they're allied to Lan Na. Level 3 fort. If this was a regular game, I'd consider restarting. All right, I think I got a plan. I did ally Ayutthaya. I'm currying favors with them right now. And then I think I'm gonna attack Prome, who are allied to Pegu, by the way. Gonna make Pegu break their alliance with Ayutthaya. Take this province from them, yada yada, and then fight Pegu. I think this is the way to go. I don't think I'll be able to ally Bengal, though. So yeah, I like to plan my cities tropically man you know what time it is dog let's click on prome and click this and click right right let's not do that and let's actually click this first <laughs> all right now you know what time it is now we can click the right buttons by the way i did ally john poor dude who said arkan was the hardest nation in asia man not me not me all right i need to wait for the cb to show up right right there we go now let's do it you know i actually had no idea ayutai is so incompetent Phase one of my plan. Wait, Pegu already broke their alliance with Ayutthaya? Well, now what do I take from them? Bruh, Twangu just full annexed Pegu. I guess they're going for the first Twangu Emperor. Let me check my AE with them, please. Oh, I can't join a coalition? Wait, no one can. I didn't know about this. I thought Pegu had high def provinces. Bro, I'm out here fighting these massive wars. Meanwhile, Twangu is just doing this. I'm kind of disappointed. Wait, why are these guys still in the war? Right, right, let's kick him out. Let's kick him out. There we go. Finally, first victory. Dude, look. Look at this. I'm getting 20 AE for taking this province right here. Twangu took all of these. So many things are stacked against us, you guys don't even know. No way Twangu has the capacity to deal with these separatists, man. Hopefully Pegu pops out and then we can just snatch them. Hey, I was right. Pegu did actually pop out of there. You know what that means. And I'll even call in... Oh, well, I'll call in these guys. I don't think they can occupy anything. There we go. Nice, nice. Some unique government reforms. Right, we have the Mandala system as Arkan. 15% income from vassals. 100% vassal force limit contribution. 33% 
minus govcap. What's this? Uparaja succession. Prestige, legitimacy, monthly air claim increase. Boring. Let's take strength and noble privileges. Guys, you gotta start making that compilation, man. I'm telling you. You know what? Wangu didn't get a coalition, so neither will I. Really? Trust me. <laughs> nice. At least I'll be able to keep it, unlike some yellow nations I know. Time to declare the greatest wars of all. A humiliation war with Ava. Of course, I'm gonna let Ayutthaya do the dirty work. Ah, one of my favorite beast deal. We're gonna show strength. Oh, I guess we're not. Well, hold up. Now we're gonna show strength. Mmm, <laughs> points. I need that because in reality, I'm gonna be devving up the Renaissance over here in Pegu. Nice. Center of trade, spices, farmlands. You already know. Let's click. Click, click, click. Click, 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 click. Click, click. Click, 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 click. Excellent. I just got another 20% discount from an event called Rainy Season Bring Fertility. Nice spelling. Time for more wars and resetting. Chooses with Ava. Who was Lana? Good, it's not the big guys. I attribute all my successes to this two siege guy. Good job, Madrid Daw. That's my Daw right there. <laughs> I just realized this is another humiliation war. Same mistake twice in the same campaign. And I haven't declared a humiliation war by mistake in years. I guess I'm out of it today. Sorry. I mean, I might as well sell the Renaissance to Ayutthaya. They're gonna get it either way. They border me, right? Crazy how we still don't have an heir, huh, guys? I have a I humiliated a lot. Nah, took all their money, all that stuff. I think I'm gonna show strength to uh, Puangu right here. Oh well, it's unfortunate that we declared with the Humiliation CB, but we are so, so powerful. Fear us. Fear us. Still no heirs, man. Still no heirs. I don't know what this whole thing is about. Maybe I don't have enough royal marriages. You know what? I haven't taken defensive in who knows how long, so why not? You know, sometimes you just wait for your allies to get done with their war, so you can call them into your own. And then you wait, and then you wait. And then they go fight Pretender. Let's see what this is all about, huh? Good job, Ayutthaya. Listen, I was gonna declare on Bengal, but at this point, there's no chance. Now, this Corvée system is pretty interesting. Construction cost, more manpower, and 1,000 manpower and 200 sailors when I build buildings. I like that. Dude, I got so much more morale, it's not even funny. <laughs> And what do we take for our second idea group? Defensive has some pretty uh, crappy policies, not gonna lie. Hmm, lean into the whole tall construction thing with economic? Why not? All right, the time is now. We have to declare on Bengal. Are we more powerful than them Bahmanis in Delhi? Probably not because my allies will find a way to mess this up. Let's try, huh? Huge naval battle. Oh, right. I was about to make an epic speech, but I guess we won it. <laughs> Let's try again. Huge naval battle going on right here. Okay. Huge land battle. I don't think I'm catching these too late. I think they're just too fast. You know, surprisingly, Janpur is doing pretty well. Can't say the same about Arissa, though. Uh, I'm kind of scared of Bahmanis. Excellent. We can kick Delhi out. This is wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, something else? No, I guess not. Hmm. Okay. I guess we're all going to Bahmanis, huh? You know what? I'll take it. Excellent. Now this is gonna be easy. Let's go back to Bengal. All right, obviously I can't take too much because Orissa here, they've been doing a little too much sieging, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just gonna take this. That's pretty much all I can take. Money, war reps. I'm gonna make them end these alliances. And I'm gonna pillage their capital. Sounds nice. All right, that's a dub. I'll take it. What's this? Convert to Theravada. Hmm. Either way, now we can fight Ava and Tuangu again. Finally, I'm powerful enough to do things on my own. I'm gonna call in Senwi just in, uh, just in case, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I think this is the big guy, actually. Ah, oh, it is. They just allied them. Looks like, uh, oh, I, I don't hate them anymore. Is there a way to get around it? Ava, Khmer, Sipa? Sure. All right, this should make fighting Ava later a little easier. Ah, oh, so many places to build the trade buildings. I love it. I love it. I like that building cost a lot. <laughs> and alas, this war comes to an end. Wonderful. Who do we fight next though? Let's take out aggressive expansion. Not bad at all, really. But I do have a pretty long choose with Bengal. Oh wait, I can fight these guys up here, huh? Okay, okay. Really, I don't see why not. Let's see what these guys up here are all about, huh? Finally, inflation reduction. You know, life is like a box of chocolates. And uh, I have no idea where I'm going with this. Change my mind, I want to fortify and play tall in the Burma region, so I'm actually gonna release the nation of Ripura from over here. Nice, there we go. I'm not expanding outside of Burma. Then we're gonna be building some forts all along here, and finally, we're gonna know CB 
Meng. You know, we do actually have two monuments already. The Shwedagon Pagoda over here in Dagon and the Long Name Palace in Pegu. Of course, we're not taking advantage of them because they're not built. But I think we will be taking advantage of the Bagon Temples, which at tier 1 give us... Right. Missionary Strength. Excellent. Not a very good one, huh? At tier 3 though, it's pretty good. Fighting Ava 2. Electric Boogaloo. Why am I not allied to Junpur again? Did someone make them break their alliance with me? Huh. Let's do a little snaking action. And I'm just gonna reset my truce with them when I fight their tributaries. Oh wow, no member. Looks like it's time to chill. Hey now, it's 1500 and we're officially silver. We have managed to survive. Yes, yes. Like I said, man, whoever said this is the hardest nation in Asia, um, it's false. False. Hey, free war with this nation right here. Nice. No hard feelings. All right, no hard feelings. Nice, inching ever closer to our goal of owning the entirety of Burma. Just gotta wrap these guys up over here. Maybe I can declare, but I'll let my allies do the work, huh? This blue guy up here, why not? Bruh, these guys heard a Kanda Tiri stack from Ming. <laughs> and that's a wrap. Let's take everything. Can we do it? Yes. I'm giving this to uh, Tripura right here because of course it's not in the Burma region. Yes, yes. Excellent. Oh yeah, I'm also fighting these guys. I'm gonna give them to Tripura as well. I'm trying to reach you right here. No, not you. You. No, no, not you either. Move. The guy behind you. No, yeah, you. You. Right here. Because they're allied to Kam. And I actually need this one province from Kam. But I can't fight them because they're a tributary of Ming. I am the most Chad Paradox content creator. Join the nest so you can be too. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. Now, I have to mark these provinces as province. Oh, I already did it. All right, all right. So, uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna be fighting these guys. Wait, I can spy on them too. What? Yeah, I'll just spy on them myself. Nice. Talk about good policies, am I right? <laughs> now I know what you guys are thinking. Hawk, where's the bankruptcies, man? Where are the disasters? Listen. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about that, guys. We will be getting bankrupted later, and we'll probably get into some disasters when I know CB Ming, all right? Let's just hope they survive until then. Ming peasants? Oh yeah, they're good. They're past their second reform, and they still haven't blown up. Ding, 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 side quest time. Let's fight Assam. All right, let's do a little something like this. I'm gonna give this to my subject, take these for myself. Now, I'm not actually gonna be curing them. I'm just gonna use this to spy on you. Hey, hey, no, I, I didn't mean it like that. Not spy on you like, well, you, you know what I mean, do you? All right, there we go. Claim on you, not you. All right, this joke got old. I'm gonna stop. <laughs> now I can just give all of those provinces to Tripura. So Darang right here. Excellent, excellent. As well as this one and this one, right? Is that right? Yes, that is right. All right, it's spring cleaning time. And that's the end of that. Boom. Did I get these guys as a tributary? Yes, I did. I actually don't want them to be my tributary. There we go. Of course, I have a truce with them. Of course. But you know who I don't have a truce with? The sponsor of today. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> so I'm gonna be fighting Mong Kwang and Senwi now. Probably want to declare on these guys, huh? Ooh, we're a great power. Wow. We're more powerful than England, obviously, because they're not on here. More powerful than Austria, they're not on here either. Yep, yep. The nation of Arkhan, everyone. Very fun. Actually, no meme. Very fun. All right, time to clean up these guys here too. Can we co-belligerent these guys? No. No unique reforms this time. Sad. Let's take, um, this. Build a great palace, you say? Well, build it then. All right, time to piece these guys out. Yes, I know I'm spending more Diplo like this. I literally couldn't care less. Ha ha ha. Wow, 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 how the tables have turned, huh? Former allies now fighting it out in Chittagong. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Bye-bye. All right, time to fight these last. No, 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 actually, no, it's not time to fight these last guys. <laughs> Dude, you just disappeared. The nation called you. Just disappeared. It's been conquered by Tsang. Now, what am I gonna do? How am I gonna fight Kam without fighting Ming then? Well, let's hope, um, oh, oh, Kam declared on them, right. Looks like I am gonna have to fight Ming in a serious war and not actually no CB them. Well, looks like that's our endgame boss right there, guys. The only thing I'm waiting for now is this little truce with Mong Nai right here. I'm gonna conquer them and after that, we're gonna be preparing and declaring on Kam and by extension Ming. I'm scared. All right, time to fight these guys. Too bad none of my boys would join because I have to fight Lan Shang as well. Oh well. Easier than I thought. And that pretty much wraps up our Burmese conquest. There we go. 
Okay, I have everything I need, except for the province of, I'm not gonna pronounce it. But now we need to declare on Kam, and we're gonna be fighting Ming. Can we do it? Of course not. Are we gonna do it? Of course, yes. Let me just uh, get ready for this, mentally and physically. I rolled a pretty good general. You might think only one star? No, 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 he has five siege pips. Dude, I feel like I need to fortify myself before this. So let's build two forts right here. Mountains, by the way. Hmm, where else? Probably right here, right? Yeah, yeah, that sounds about... Oh, I can't build one there. Let's, uh, let's destroy this church. <laughs> and, uh, obviously one right here, one right here, and one right here. So yeah, let's get those going. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, and one right here too. And, uh, one down there too. Right, right, right. Let's, let's do that. One more alone. Boom. And this is probably coring. Yeah, I'll wrap it up. Ooh, so Ming just got the Nomad Frontier disaster and they have 19 mandate. This is the perfect time to declare. Almost the perfect time. I'm waiting for these guys to fire. And my five siege general just died. <laughs> uh, let's give the ruler military command, huh? Mani Dama? Yep, that's him. Gentlemen, the time has come. It is time to declare war on Ming. Boom. Okay, let's do this. Let's walk straight up to Beijing, apparently. <laughs> Just arrived in Wuchang. Time to barrage it. Alright, let's see what kind of damage I can actually do. I very rarely fight Ming as a non-horde nation. So, let's take a look at this, huh? 37 versus 23. They have no general either. I am crossing a river. Let's see. Oh. That was easy. Let's walk to Beijing. Now, this might get a little more spicy. Let's see once again. Easy. Of course, we're gonna barrage Beijing as well. Boys and girls, we've captured Beijing. Nice. Actually, Ayutthaya is doing some work down here too, so very nice ally. I'm really glad. Oh, I can piece these guys out. Wonderful. Let's pillage. Huh, I guess I can't. Ah, it's occupied by Ayutthaya. That's why I can't. Okay, okay. No problem. For the meme, let's get, um, let's get me No, let's get espionage. Poor Ming is uh, sending us a peace offer. Nope. It's that easy, guys. It's that easy. They're just a paper tiger, man. I'm telling you. All right, that's enough of beating up Ming. I feel kind of sorry for them. No, I don't, but I want to get this over with. So let's pillage Beijing. It does have only 46 dev. Is the Bank of China open? I think it is. Boom. 3,000 ducats. Boom. War reps. Can we get something more? We actually can. Huh. Let's see. Or maybe not. I actually can't. So done. Wow, so easy to defeat Ming. So easy, man. So easy. I am the best U4 player of all time, of course. Everyone knows this. Yes, it's true. It's true. Don't say it's not. <laughs> of course I'm not, guy. Come on. And there we go, man. This is all I want. That's it. I'm not a greedy guy. Wow. Amazing. And yeah, man, look. We started off as Arkan, a very weak two-province miner over here. Our goal slightly changed. I was trying to survive till 1500, so that's a check. I wanted to conquer Burma, that's another check. I sort of canceled the conquer Bengal goal, since it seemed kind of boring. But instead of that, I placed a new goal, fighting Ming, no CB being them. We didn't even have to no CB them. We just fought calm, beat them up very badly, got the Bank of China working. They're giving me 7.55 ducats a month right now, yeah. And we've conquered the entirety of Burma, making crazy income, by the way, Fort here, fort here, fort here, another one here, more over here, I'm gonna be building one there, one right there, one right there. The region of Burma is impenetrable, guys. We're way better in tech than anyone else around here. We spawned the renaissance, we spawned colonialism, selling it to everyone because we're nice like that. Yeah, man, I am gonna declare this campaign as a success. And I think you guys will agree with me that this was a major, major success. Not something I expected at all as the nation of Arkan right here. Of course, I can't let you guys down. I am gonna no CB Ming, here we go. Boom. Ming has been no CB, let's check AE. Well, it's still not bad, nobody cares. Do we have any disaster sticking? Unfortunately not, we don't have any. Oh, internal conflicts should start ticking. Yes, there we go. So everything is running. Let's let Ming come and siege us down. Will this fire before I stop talking? Probably not. But let's also declare bankruptcy. There we go. Another tradition fulfilled for you guys. And you know, I did think that we were initially gonna fail Arkan, a two province miner. Man, who would assume we would be so powerful? I really did think I was gonna get gobbled up by Bengal pretty soon since they are so powerful and they started off hostile with me and I was like, bruh, how am I gonna declare on Pegu? They get awesome alliances over here. How am I gonna fight Ava and all their tributaries? I'm gonna be poor. I'm gonna have to restart. 
28 times to do this video. I even considered emigrating over to the new world and running away from all of this in order to get, um, let's see, where is that achievement? Land of Eastern Jade or something like that? What was it called? Ah, here it is. Yeah, Land of Eastern Jade. Own and Cora province in Central America as a Buddhist country. But we didn't do it this time, so maybe we can do it another time when we reach another Buddhist nation. Although I have no idea which of these Buddhist nations is next up on the list. Yeah, man, Orkin. So fun, honestly. I do think you guys should give them a shot as well. They even have decent national ideas. No unique missions, though. Maybe you can try and replicate my challenge over here. Conquer Burma, defeat Ming. Give it a shot. Why not? And that has been Orkin in A to Z. Let me know in the comments below what I should do with this nation next week. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out the channel a lot. And if you really liked it, you can always subscribe. I'm trying to hit 40k subscribers and maybe you can help me. And you can become a member today. And join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.